Hi everyone, if you're dual booting Windows and Ubuntu, I'm going to show you how to move your Ubuntu boot files to a separate EFI partition, ensuring a smoother boot experience for both operating systems. By default, when installing Ubuntu, it will install the boot files in the same EFI partition as Windows. Microsoft is known for deleting anything not related to Windows in the EFI partition, which can happen after a Windows update. So I'm going to show you how to move the Ubuntu boot files and make them safe and prevent Windows from deleting them, which will cause boot issues. To start, I'm going to open up Terminal, and I'm going to sudo in, and I'm going to look at my mount point. And so we see here, slash dev, slash sda1, it's being mounted on boot EFI. So if I go to boot EFI, and go into the EFI directory, and so we see here the EFI boot files for Microsoft Windows and for Ubuntu. So if I go to Ubuntu, and here are the EFI boot files. So I'm going to create a new and separate EFI partition for the Ubuntu boot files. Go back to root, and then df-h. And currently, all of my space is used on my drive here. So I will have to shrink a partition and I have slash dev slash SDA five and it has 12 gigabytes free. So I can shrink SDA five and then use the free space to create the new EFI partition. Gparted can do this, but because this is my root partition and it's mounted, it cannot be done while running within the OS. So I will download Gparted and put it on a USB drive and then boot from it. Open up a browser, Gparted download. Click on the first link and download the ISO. All right, it's done downloading. And here's Gparted and put in my USB drive. And we see I already have put the ISO on it, but I'm gonna do it from the command line using DD. And we see here that it's been auto-mounted dev sdb1. So I'm going to unmount it. And I'm going to go to my downloads folder. There's my file. And I'm going to use dd to put the ISO onto the drive. Byte size, put it as four megabytes to make it faster. Input file, home, kmd tech downloads, and then gparted, output file equals, and then the USB drive. In my case, it's dev sdb, and then conv f data sync. Okay, so we see here that it's completed. It's put it onto the USB drive, and now I'm gonna boot the USB drive. All right, it's booted from the USB drive and we have Gparted here. So I'm gonna select the default, Gparted Live. Don't touch key map, 33, US English, and zero, continue to start X. Okay, so it's in Gparted and here is dev SDA5. This is my root partition and I'm gonna shrink it resize. And so for the new EFI partition, I'm going to allocate 200 megabytes for it. And I'm going to hit resize move. And so we see here at the bottom one operation pending and it's going to shrink. And then when you're ready, hit the check mark. Apply. And we can see details. And so it's shrunk it. Close. And so we see here the unallocated space. I'm going to close. And now I'm going to exit, gpart it, and go back into Ubuntu. And here you can remove your USB drive and hit enter. Once you're back in, open up terminal again. I'm going to sudo in, put in my password. I'm going to use fdisk and my disk is dev sda and it says here this disk is currently in use repartitioning is probably a bad idea 
It's recommended to unmount all file systems and swap off all swap partitions on this disk. But we're not making any changes to any existing file systems. We're just going to be using the free space and then creating a new partition. So the warning there doesn't apply to us. And then hit P to print. And here we'll see all of the partitions. And then hit M for help. And then we're going to create a new partition. So I scroll up and we're going to add a new partition so that's n and it'll be partition number six so i'll leave it as the default and the first sector i'll leave it as the default and the last sector i'll leave it as the default and so it's created a new partition of type linux file system and of size 200 megabytes we need to change the type so hit m and scroll up. And to change a partition type, it's T. And then there'll be six that we want to change, default. And we can hit L to list all the types. And it's going to be one EFI system partition. So hit Q to quit out of this. And then hit one. And so we see here it's been changed from Linux file system to EFI system. And hit M. And we're going to write table to disk and exit W. All right, so the partition has been created and now I am going to format it as FAT32. So use make file system dash T VFAT and then it's SDA6, dev SDA6. And I'm gonna type in block ID slash dev SDA6, so you can get the ID for it. And the UUID is D55A5E29. And I'm going to need this for later. So we got the new partition, dev SDA6. Now we need to mount it. So I'm going to go to the mount directory, MNT, see if anything's there. There's nothing there. Do a DF H, and I don't see anything mounted. Now I'm going to mount it there. Mount dev sda6 to mount. And now I'm going to make a new directory. So I'm going to make the Ubuntu directory in it. So make direct dash p mount efi ubuntu. And now I'm going to copy all of the Ubuntu boot files into it. And if I do ls dash al. And we see that they are there. And now I'm going to edit the FS tab file, which is what Linux will use to determine what file systems to mount. So I'm going to use VI, VI Etsy FS tab. And I'm going to scroll down. And so we see here that this is the file system, devsda1, that was mounted to boot EFI. And so we're going to change that. So it's going to be SDA6. So the command that was ran earlier, block ID, dev SDA6 to get the UUID. So that is what we're going to change. Now I could just overwrite this, but to be safe, I am going to comment it out and then create a new entry. So I'm going to hit I to insert and then the pound sign to comment it out. And I hit escape once. And then I'm going to hit YY. This will yank the line. And then P to print. We see it have it copied there. And I'm going to hit X to remove the comment on here. And I'm going to scroll over to E. And I'm going to hit capital R to replace the UUID. And then it's D55A dash. 5e29 and afterwards I'm going to hit escape once and then colon wq to write and quit and then if I cat file just to confirm and so we see that it's there and now I'm going to do a grub install with the new boot directory mount efi ubuntu and then EFI directory is mount. Target x86. 
64 EFI, and then removable. Okay, so it's installed it. And then now I'm going to check my EFI boot entries using EFI boot manager, EFI boot MGR V. And so we see here at the bottom, it's boot 0004 Ubuntu, but that is using dev SDA one, got to change it. So it's dev SDA six. So first thing is I'm going to remove number four, 0004 and then dash B to delete. Okay, so it has been removed. It's no longer there. And we're gonna put in the new boot entry. Create, and then put in the device, dev SDA. And there's gonna be partition number six. And then we're gonna put a label, Ubuntu Linux. Then the file. I Ubuntu shim x 64.efi and we see there it's at the bottom efi boot manager dash v and so we see it there it's now using partition number six all right and now I'm just going to reboot all right so it's rebooted and grub comes up so there's no issues here and I'm going to boot into Ubuntu I'm going to log in Open up a terminal. I'm going to sudo in. And if I do a df-h, and we see here now that it's using dev sda6 here, and it's mounted on boot efi. So if I go to it, and we see here it's just Ubuntu in here. Now we still have a copy of the Ubuntu boot files under dev sda1 and you can remove them or you can keep them as a copy. You don't necessarily have to remove them, but if you want to remove them, we'll mount it and then remove it. So mount dev sda1, and we're gonna put it under mount. What a mount, EFI, and then there's Ubuntu. So we're gonna remove these files, rm-rf, Ubuntu ls-al, and we see here that's been removed. Unmount it, and that's it. That's how you can move your Ubuntu boot files to a separate EFI partition for a smoother boot experience. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.